previously on Tech on a Budget. Oh my god. Oh no. Hey, what's going on everyone? John here from Tech on a Budget, back with another review. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure you click that bright red subscribe button down below, as well as that notification bell because that's how you get alerted when I post new videos. If you don't click that notification bell, even though you're subscribed to the channel, you won't be alerted when I post new videos, and that means you won't watch them. And that means I'll be sad. So click that notification bell. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter where you can stay up to date with the channel. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's take a look at these custom painted Joy-Cons. I know, they're beautiful. As you can tell, these aren't your average Joy-Cons. So my buddy Caleb from Designable Shop custom painted these Joy-Cons to make them look like that classic GameCube controller, and he did a damn good job. To give you an idea of just how amazing these Joy-Cons are, here are the stock gray Joy-Cons, and here's the GameCube Joy-Cons. These Joy-Cons turned into these Joy-Cons, all thanks to Caleb. It's crazy, man. The paint process isn't something that everyone can do, and it takes a lot of skill. For starters, he takes the Joy-Cons completely apart. And trust me, there's a lot of room for error. He then paints the shells and buttons with a professional quality paint, then puts a clear coat on them to protect them from chipping. Then he reassembles everything back together and puts them through testing to make sure they feel and work as they should. This is not a simple project and you really gotta know what you're doing. Taking a closer look at the paint job, it's legit. It's smooth, no uneven paint or weird marks, and could pass as official Joy-Cons that Nintendo would sell. Taking a look at the left Joy-Con, they represent the left side of the GameCube controller. Four face buttons are painted light gray, just like the D-pad would be on the GameCube controller. And even the L and ZL buttons are painted the same light gray as the GameCube's L trigger. Now taking a look at the right Joy-Con, which is my favorite, the X and Y buttons are painted light gray, just like on the GameCube controller. What really gives it that GameCube feel though are the green painted A button and the red painted B button. Just like the left Joy-Con, the ZR button is painted light gray to match the triggers, but a nice little touch is that the R button is painted purple to represent the GameCube Z button. Now these Joy-Cons themselves already give you that GameCube vibe, but it doesn't stop there. Caleb also painted a Joy-Con grip, so when you slide the Joy-Cons in, it looks even more like a GameCube controller. He even painted the GameCube logo on the grip in this crazy color changing paint, and it really brings it all together. So to make this look even more like a GameCube controller, I did my own modification. Now I'm telling you, do this at your own risk. If you damage your Joy-Cons while doing this, I'm not responsible. Alright, so you guys ready? Here's what I did. Now this is as close as you'll get to having Joy-Cons looking like a GameCube controller. The only way it can look more like a GameCube controller is if it was an actual GameCube controller. Now I already told you the phenomenal job that Caleb did, but honestly, he did beyond that. I didn't ask or even think it was possible, but he put the tech on the budget logo on the back of the Joy-Cons. I'm telling you, this is as custom as it gets, and honestly, this thing is just a work of art. Dear God, it's beautiful. Caleb is a special dude and he's definitely dedicated to the craft. I mean, this guy has a full-time job, is a husband, a father, and he still finds time to run his shop on Etsy. Kinda makes me contemplate what I'm doing with my life. This guy is passionate about what he does. He puts nothing but love into his customer's orders and is all about putting the customer first at every angle. If you're interested in your own custom painted Joy-Cons, I'll leave the link to Designable Shop on Etsy down below in the description. You should also check him out on Instagram because he posts daily and he's always coming up with new designs. He's got these six Splatoon Joy-Cons and Pro Controllers, but my new favorite are these Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Joy-Cons and Pro Controllers. Maybe you'll see them on the channel one day. So the prices on his shop vary depending on what you want. For these GameCube Joy-Cons, they're going to run you about $160. Now I know that sounds expensive, but let's think about it. Joy-Cons themselves already cost $80, so you're paying an extra $80 to have them custom painted. To put that in perspective, Colorwork charges $150, and you're only able to choose the color of the shell. No custom GameCube themes or painted buttons. Also, these GameCube Joy-Cons are a premium option. 
If you want to build your own, just like Colorware, you can have everything custom painted, including the buttons and grips for only $120. If you already have a pair of Joy-Cons, you can just send those in and just pay for the painting process. Honestly, I think these Joy-Cons are well worth the price if you want something that's truly one of a kind. Designable Shop has to be your go-to if you want reasonably priced custom painted Joy-Cons and Pro Controllers. So while editing this video, Caleb actually informed me that he's doing a giveaway for a pair of GameCube Joy-Cons. So if you want to win a pair of these Joy-Cons, all you have to do is follow him on Instagram because that's where he's going to give out the details for the giveaway and it's going to be in March. And since you're there, you might as well follow me too on Instagram. Now go back to watching the video. Now I hope you guys enjoyed that look at the custom painted Joy-Cons by Designable Shop. Caleb was awesome to work with and I can now honestly call him a friend. Hopefully we'll be able to work together again soon. Actually, next week Wednesday, February 28th, me, Caleb, Nadine from Isne Pony, and Josh from Old School Game Collector will be having a live video podcast where we'll be talking about things like the games we're playing, gaming news, and more. And of course, me being a tech YouTuber, I'll be sure to throw in some tech-related topics. Now, we haven't figured out a time yet, so make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can be updated with what's going on. Also, be sure to follow Caleb, Nadine, and Josh on Instagram if you love gaming. Now, we're at the end of the video, and you know what that means. If you guys like the video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe right over here, and don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be alerted when I post new videos. Now I'll catch you guys in the next video, and hopefully during a live podcast. Have a good one.